Good evening everybody. This is Dr. Murli Bharadwaj, your classmate, YouTube mate and reading room mate in the NEET PG preparation. Today is September 6th. Ittina barish gira Hyderabad mein kahi bhi dekho internet ka availability nahi hai. Shaam 7 baje hote hi hum aapke saath spend karna aadat ho gaya, hamara jindagi ho gaya. So that is the reason I thought okay let us capture hot hot points for the NEET PG exam definitely going to come in the tomorrow's exam so let us do in the next 10 minutes a quick revision of about 30 to 40 points now doctor bicornuate uterus matla uterus ke andar uterus ke andar do kamre ho gaya two horns ho gaya because of the two horns, what will happen, doctor? It is difficult to accommodate a fetus. That is the reason it leads to infertility. A very common question, what is it because of? Incomplete fusion of the paramecenephric ducts is responsible for the bicornuate uterus. Now, a very famous, repeatedly asked clinical vignette. A young patient with obesity, Mota hai, moti weight karna padega. Obesity, hypotonia, mental retardation, short stature, hypogonadotropic hypogonadism, strabismus, strabismus, and small hands and feet. When these clinical features are given, you should jump and tell, oh, obesity. Hypotonia, short stature, hypogonadism. You should think of Prader-Willi syndrome. Prader-Willi syndrome is treated by giving growth hormone is what you should remember. Now, a patient has tall stature, ectopia lentis, mitral valve prolapse, aortic root dilatation, aortic dissection. Then what is the gene which is missing? And what is the condition? You should remember Marfan syndrome. What is it because of? Fibrillin. Fibrillin gene which is defective. And the aortic dissection is treated with beta blockers. Please don't forget. And always tell them by a pneumothorax the chances of developing it in the Marfan. Because Marfan's lungs doctor if you take the thoracic cage is very tall. When the thoracic cage is very tall, it produces very high amount of intrathoracic pressure and that lead to the rupture of the pleural blebs and lead to the development of uh, pneumothorax. So that is the reason, tell them be careful, there is a risk of developing pneumothorax and don't go for strenuous exercise. Why? Because Marfan's patients have mitral valve prolapse. So, a strenuous exercise is a risk factor where strenuous exercise will decrease the cardiac return, the venous return to heart and that lead to worsening of the mitral valve prolapse and development of sudden cardiac death is what you should remember. So, no strenuous exercise please. Then, it is an autosomal dominant inheritance. Achavaya. Pneumothorax, what will predispose? You should tell Marfan syndrome, guys. Agar jana hai to jet airways ke business class mein jau. Don't go in an aeroplane without decompression and warn them from doing weird things like going on a fast elevator, etc. etc. is what you should remember. So that is the Marfan's. Now, the favorite question LDL receptor molecule. What is the ion that binds to the LDL receptor molecule? Suddenly exam may, this kind of question will bother us because we never prepared for it. Calcium, calcium, but this is one of the most frequently tested uh, MCQ. Now doctor, uric acid stones, what will you remember? Those stones are translucent. Agar aap lucent ke spelling deke to, you hai na ji, you hai na. So, you means 
uric acid uric acid is lucent on x-ray unlike the calcium stones which are opaque is what you need to remember three conditions bolo babuji jaha hyperuricemia hota hai Hypoxanthin, guanin, phosphoribozyl transferase deficiency, HGPRT, phosphoribo, phosphoribozyl pyrophosphate synthase, overactivity or HGPRT underactivity or glucose 6-phosphatase deficiency, any of these three can lead to development of hyperuricemia, you should not forget, whether you go for FMG, or you go for knee to PG. These are the facts which are frequently tested facts. And how will be the presentation of the urate stones? Most common will be hematuria. Then fever, nausea, vomiting, and finally urinary tract infection. So that is the order of clinical presentation of urate stones. So what is a uh, Primary treatment, primary treatment for the uric acid stones, doctor. So you should remember, first thing you have to do if there is urine, uric acid stone found means you have to alkalinize the u urine, alkalinize the urine so that you are letting the urea, uric acid to get out of the body to not get reabsorbed in and you need to hydrate the patient and you wait for the stones to pass and then if that does not work then you need to give allopurinol is what you should remember but one important point you should know is whenever the stone is more than five centimeters then you have to use lithotripsy because the stone will not pass by itself if it is more than five centimeters is what you have to Remember, they go Garmagaram six points Katam. Now, doctor, a patient had her gallbladder removed because she has stones. Still, she feels colicky pain. What could be the reason? Somebody got CT in MD after need PG. Still, what he studied for the preparation for need PG, night dream me aara hai. What is the cause? The cause is, this is the most important need PG high yield concept. The loss of inhibitory enteric innervation. The loss of the inhibitory enteric innervation, motor innervation is responsible for the colicky pain when you have done the cholecystectomy to remove the stones is responsible for the post-operative abdominal pain is what you need to remember. Now doctor, a patient had a surgical neck of the humerus fracture, dislocation of the anterior shoulder, then which nerve is involved is a favorite question. You have to remember axillary nerve, not the radial nerve. Radial nerve nahi hai. So it is humerus. Humerus has got a radial um, groove. In spite of that, you should remember that it is not the radial nerve, it is the axillary nerve which is in relation with surgical neck of the humerus and whenever there is a dislocation of anterior shoulder. Now, you need to know a very crucial concept tested in the knee PG. A woman who diets, she is dieting and she is cutting on all her fats but she is eating carbohydrates. Examiner Apsko Puchega. Bhaiya, carbohydrate rich food kha rahe, magar fat nahi kha rahe. Aise person mein LDL badega ya HDL badega. It's a very important, uh, uh, I mean, will she lower, 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 not higher, lower her LDL or increase her LDL or HDL. What will happen? So you should know a few basic things on the lipoproteins. Chylomicrons are those blood lipoproteins which are produced from the dietary fat. It is the VLDLs that are produced mainly from the dietary carbohydrate. IDL and LDL are produced from the VLDL. So that is the reason if someone is dieting, 
नहीं बाबा मैं फैट नहीं खाऊंगा मगर मैं पोटैटो खाऊंगा राइट सो कार्बोहाइड्रेट ज्यादा खा रहे तो देन हर एल डी एल विल स्टिल बी हाई एल डी एल विल स्टिल बी हाई इन द पीपल हु आर नॉट डाइटिंग ऑन द कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स एंड ओनली डाइटिंग ऑन द फैट्स इज वॉट यू हैव टू एम फैटिकली रिमेंबर वंस मोर पूरा लाइपो प्रोटीन का कॉन्सेप्ट को रिविजन के लिए प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट डॉक्टर वी हैव डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट ऑल एन एम बी एस डॉट कॉम वीडियो लाइब्रेरी है उसके अंदर सिक्स हंड्रेड आवर्स ऑफ वीडियो डिस्कशन इज देर पावर पॉइंट आर देर नाइन फिफ्टी थ्री हाईल टॉपिक्स फॉर द नीट पी जी हाउ बिन डिस्कस्ड आपको डिटेल्ड डिस्कशन वहां मिल जाएगा ये तो जरा बारिश के दिन चटपटा समोसा के जैसे है गरम गरम पॉइंट डिस्कस कर रहे हैं अभी नाउ डॉक्टर द नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट हॉट पॉइंट फॉर द नीट पी जी फ्रॉम योर क्लासमेट डॉक्टर मुरली भरद्वाज एवरी सिंगल स्टूडेंट ऑफ डॉक्टर मुरली भरद्वाज टेकिंग द नीट पी जी और एग्जिट एग्जाम और वॉट एवर एग्जाम यू कॉल इट यू शुड नो दिस ए मैन विथ डिफ्यूज डी मिनरलाइजेशन ऑफ द बोन बोन में कुछ भी कैल्शियम नहीं है but he has hypercalcemia anemia hyper gamma globulinemia proteinuria but a normal serum alkaline phosphate is if you don't answer multiple myeloma i'll go and cry you should remember multiple myeloma typically acts on osteoclast activating factor a clast hota hai this is clast not a blast not to blast that is the reason you should remember alkaline phosphatase is typically normal in the patients who are having multiple myeloma very important question unless they have some fracture because they have a diffuse demineralization of the bone they are at risk of developing fracture when the fracture is healing when the osteoblastic activity ho raha to then only alkaline phosphatase will elevate otherwise it will not elevate One more important thing: multiple myeloma may radionuclide, radionuclide scan typically is negative. There is no uptake, increased uptake because osteoblasts are not activated. Osteoclasts are activated. Now, doctor, next question: A woman with sarcoidosis. Sarcoidosis में क्या होता है, doctor? Hypercalcemia होता है. or anybody with hypercalcemia comes to your clinic what is the diuretic of choice we have to give frusamide not thiazide not manitol not acetazolamide thiazides or manitol or acetazolamide are not preferred in fact thiazides are bad because thiazides retain the calcium frusamide lose calcium loop diuretics lose calcium that is what you have to basically remember so the diuretic of choice will be frusamide is what you should remember now doctor jara aajkal ke neet pg aur aims exam mein genetic level mein bahut baat hota hai transgenic mouse a transgenic mouse has a defect in beta 2 microglobulin gene jara ye vedant ke baad upanishad ke एम सी क्यू है समझने के लिए वॉट इज द इम्यूनो डिफेक्ट इम्यूनो डिफेक्ट दट यू फाइंड द बीटम माइक्रोग्लॉबलिन इज द पार्ट ऑफ एम एच सी क्लास वन मॉलिक्यूल सो एनी डिफेक्ट ऑफ दैट विल कॉज ए प्रॉब्लम इन सी डी एट प्लस बिकॉज सी डी एट प्लस इज एसोसिएटेड विथ क्लास वन मॉलिक्यूल इज वॉट यू शुड रिमेंबर द एम एच सी basically it has got class 1 class 2 it has got the genes which are encoding for the cell surface glycoproteins which are called class 1 and class 2 molecules in ka function kya hai typically they will present the antigenic peptides to the cd8 plus class 1 cd4 plus class 2 respectively and these peptides are generated in the cytosol from where are they generated doctor they are generated from the denatured proteins who denatures the proteins the denatured proteins are basically fragmented by organelles called proteasomes 
and some components of these denatured protein fragments which are MHC encoded they are transported into the endoplasmic reticulum by the peptide pumps called as transporter associated with antigen processing TAP TAP is the one which typically transports these proteins which are denatured and fragmented by the proteasomes which are MHC coded encoded into the endoplasmic reticulum and uh, the peptide binding to the class 1 heavy chain the peptide binding to the class 1 heavy chain it typically facilitates the association with this beta 2 microglobulin is what you need to remember so beta 2 microglobulin is a component of mhc1 molecule and it basically functions to transport the mhc class 1 to the cell surface and any lack of beta 2 microglobulin then the mhc class 1 is missing cd8 plus cytotoxic t cells get affected that is what you have to remember cd8 plus t cells mhc class 1 beta 2 microglobulin proteosomal denaturation this is enough for the future mcq in the neat pg exam about the transgenic mice now doctor what is that biochemical cycle which is inhibited by acyl coa acyl coa and enhanced by citrate favorite question so you should remember acyl coa is the product of which cycle doctor fatty acid synthesis ka synthesis hue to what will happen fatty acid kya karega fatty acid kya karega fata fata bolo acetyl coa acetyl coa ko kya karega fatty acid acyl coa banayega acyl coa banayega so first step kya hota hai acetyl coa become melonyl coa and ultimately it become acyl coa so that is the reason the end product acyl coa will come back and make acetyl coa into melonyl coa conversion which is the first step of the fatty acid biosynthesis to get inhibited so you should remember fatty acid synthesis where does it happen doctor cytosol beta oxidation of fatty acids kaha hota hai mitochondria mein so citrate will activate acetyl coa to melanyl coa but acyl coa inhibits the conversion of acetyl coa to melanyl coa and inhibits the fatty acid synthesis is what you have to remember chalo fada fad bolo lactic acidosis lactic acidosis ka causes kya hota hai drug abuse most common cause doctor high exercise shock like septic shock hypoperfusion they all lead to development of lactic acidosis abhi chota bachcha aagaya child has come to you pediatrics child has come with meconium ileus other than the hirschsprungs hirschsprungs disease is the main cause what are the other important causes which you need to remember in relation to meconium ileus doctor cystic fibrosis what will be the presenting feature of cystic fibrosis the baby is sweating salty tasting salty fatty stools because of steatoria because of the pancreatic deficiency in case of cystic fibrosis is what you should remember now most common cause of obstruction and congenital gi anomaly which blocks the terminal ileum what is that you should remember it is the meckel's diverticulum which is the most common cause of the obstruction the congenital gi anomaly that lead to ileal obstruction why does meckel's diverticulum occur doctor persistence of vitelline duct vitelline duct that is the point you have to basically remember abhi garma garam chal rahe na so one hour mein hum at least 70 80 points ko फट 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 रिविजन करना है 
at that speed if you run through then you are all the dr murli bharadwaj super 2000 dekhre na super 2000 need pg batch doctor self preparation self motivation that is most important key feature to become the winner ab bahut motivational videos dekhte hain youtube mein but what is important most key feature doctor self motivation udhare datman atmanam atmanam avasadhaye atmain atmano bandhu atmain ripuratmanah ripu means enemy the atma itself is the enemy of atma atma itself is the friend of atma so that atman ko neat pg topper banne ke liye main hu aapko roz stimulate karne ke liye so don't forget to join the whatsapp study group or ask all your friends to join the whatsapp study group roz 5 to 6 groups fill ho raha hai almost 1000 students every day are joining i am very happy on this whatsapp revolution that we are doing now doctor a patient comes with overdose of scopolamine scopolamine because she went on a honeymoon to ladakh ladakh gayi to kya hota mountain sickness hota mountain sickness ko scopolamine dete scopolamine is like atropine anticholinergic so the duty doctor want to give something which is cholinomimetic what can he give does he give physostigmine or neostigmine you should remember typically he gives physostigmine why physostigmine is that cholinomimetic which crosses the blood brain barrier neo nahi jayega physo jayega brain ke andar physostigmine crosses the blood brain barrier into the cns that is what you have to remember not the neostigmine neostigmine is better for urinary retention doctor periphery mein hota na bladder so there if you want a cholinomimetic drug which can be able to compress compress the bladder ditrozar muscle ko strengthen karne ke liye agar kisi patient ko urinary retention ho gaya samjho after the plastic surgery that is the place where neostigmine is better is what you should remember now why gentamicin you cannot give to treat the bacteroides what is the mechanism of action of aminoglycosides otherwise is the favorite question bacteroids are anaerobes doctor anaerobes so aminoglycosides do not work on the anaerobes because they need oxygen for uptake aminoglycoside for it to be uptaken it need to have the organism should know how to use the oxygen anaerobes don't know how to use oxygen so that is the reason amino glycosides are useless for the anaerobes a are useless for anaerobes is what you need to remember and how does amino glycoside act doctor it basically acts on 30s 30s initiation complex bachcho aap sab log ऑनलाइन एम बी एस डॉट कॉम वीडियो लाइब्रेरी में फार्माकोलॉजी में हम गर्मा गर्म डिस्कशन किए थे लेवन हंड्रेड एम सी क्यूज लास्ट फिफ्टीन ईयर्स नीट पी जी ऑल इंडिया का टॉपिक वाइज डिवाइड करके ट्वेंटी फाइव आवर्स में खत्म किए आप जाना डिस्कशन रिव्यू करना पावर पॉइंट भी अवेलेबल है राइट वेर यू हाउ मोर पिक्टोरियल डिस्क्रिप्शन राइट ऑफ नाउ वाई यू शुड नॉट give tetracycline to treat a young girl sweet 16 mein hai early stage of acne mein hai why you don't want to give because tetracycline lead to discoloration of the teeth and the blocking of the bone growth in children tetracycline leads to photosensitivity that is the point you need to basically remember next comes garma garam anatomical injuries bhaiya fracture shaft humerus ho gaya to which nerve is injured radial nerve radial nerve injured hue to which muscles are affected triceps and brachioradialis and it lead to wrist trauma then supracondylar fracture of humerus what is the nerve injured median nerve median nerve sarkar median nerve is injured not axillary nerve or ulnar nerve 
In the EDPG is a serious exam, right? You should have to give serious correct answers. So if median nerve is injured, what happens? The ability to flex the fingers, flex the fingers. Chilega. And some of the thumb movements are lost. And there is a loss of sensation over the lateral palm. Lateral palm. Right? So this is the medial palm. This is the lateral palm. So you should remember lateral palm and the thumb and the radial two and half digits. That is what you have to basically remember. Now, doctor, claw hand. Oh my God. What is it because of Allah? Even a little kid will answer that. But oh point Allah Naru. What are the chord segments from where it arises? You should remember C8 and T1. C8 and T1 is the claw hand, is what you should remember. Finally, doctor, before we are happy that we had a review of 30 garma garam points. Adenosine deaminase deficiency, what does it lead to? Typically, it leads to severe combined immunodeficiency, is what you should remember. So, thank you so much. We will meet every day evening 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. on our YouTube live broadcasted class. Don't forget to call 9000-868-356 and join the www.onlinembbs.com video library where you get 953 high yield topics, 600 hours of video discussion, online mock tests and numerous powerpoints. Subscribe today. Thank you very much. This is Dr. Murli Bharadwaj. Always with you until you get the top seat in the lead PG. Harek din padai karenge, milke padenge. Thank you very much.